and we are out of water. Damn it. Oh, well. Good morning, everybody. It's your favorite ex truck driver in the whole wide world. It's Bitcoin Ben. Here for the daily, what the plug is going now in cryptocurrencies. My friends, it's all about the mining. It's all about the mining. Welcome to the show. It's Friday. It's the banana shirt. And it's the Lynx event. The last Lynx event of the year is tonight. The club. So, welcome, everyone. Right, here we go. My friends, there's going to be an announcement in about a month or less. I don't know which one, but soon, relatively soon, about mining. And who is launching a mining uh, company, shall we say? Now, it is true that BlackRock owns part of four of the top five miners in the world. That is true. But what is bigger than BlackRock launching a or owning part of each of those? What if a country Oh, I don't know. Say Argentina, say Russia, say Germany, say South Africa. What if they, the countries, started to mine? Bitcoin. Now, yesterday, there was a big meeting between a couple of people down in El Salvador. They shall remain nameless, so you have to do your own research. But this meeting, according to people, in, well, they weren't in the room, but they were listening to what was going on in the room. There's going to be huge announcements coming from a certain country that was visiting El Salvador, the savior. Ironic, isn't it? My friends, before the Bitcoin is officially the world's global reserve currency. Think of it like this. What was our last global reserve commodity? Oil. Petrodollar. Now, in order to have the petrodollar you had to have a large, whoa. Uh-huh. 
phone during his hearing to close, right? You had a lot of countries that were mining, mining the oil, drilling for oil. So they could have a commodity that was valued at a global price. See where I'm going with this, folks? So let's just say hypothetically that a country like Qatar. If you don't know who Qatar is, look it up, right? Let's say a place like Dubai. Let's say a country like India. Let's say Saudi Arabia. Didn't we just have news a while back that Saudi Arabia and Iran made it legal to mine Bitcoin and the government was allocating money for that. Isn't Saudi Arabia, isn't the oil, the OPEC, oil producing uh i can't remember the rest of oil producing arabian countries i think that's it yes please make sure you hit the like and subscribe to whatever Platform you're watching. This is information you can only get here, folks. Only get here by a chubby ex truck driver in a banana shirt. I guarantee you, there's not another one out there. I'm very special. So, we have all these countries that are going to start producing, mining the Bitcoin, just like they started to produce and mine oil before oil was the globally traded commodity. Now, prior to that, all of the countries mined what? What did they mind? Not their business. They mined gold. Ah! That's right. And when they were, wait a second, when was the American gold rush? Mid 1800s? Prior to that, the American monetary system ran on Bueller, Bueller, silver. Now, follow me. Initially, America ran on silver, mostly because early in America's history, we relied on the Spanish, anyone know the name? Dalar, that we call the dollar. Right? So, initially, the American economy ran on silver. Then we switched to gold. Then we switched to petroleum. We're switching to pure energy. It aligns with our technological advances. I've told you guys in the past 
that the world currency was always linked with the most used commodity on a global basis. Now, here in America, in certain areas, we had multiple currency commodities. We had silver, we had tobacco, and in some areas, we even had hemp. Now, hemp, George Washington was a hemp farmer, by the way. These are all commodities. Right? Now, what makes ooh, right? sweet. So oh, by the way, Bruce Porter. My good friend Bruce will be at the Lynx event tonight here at the club, right? So we had many different... Thanks, Bruce. Go ahead and say it. All right, uh, do you guys know who Nick Spanos is? If you've been in Bitcoin, if you're a Bitcoin OG, everyone knows who Nick Spanos is. Look up the very first Bitcoin exchange on Wall Street. That's Nick. Nick's going to be visiting the club this weekend at the Founders Group event, which, by the way, you can still get tickets online, online version, watch it live. We're going to have Bruce. We're going to have Nick. We're going to have me. We're going to have others. Just enjoy the show. Click the link under here. You can watch it live and record it. You get a recording with the live stream. FYI. Now. So, as we moved from silver to gold to petroleum oil, was what actually was the commodity that backed up the global currencies. My friends, the reason why we're in the Great Reset is, well, several reasons, but because for the first time in human history, Energy, pure energy, is the number one commodity in the world. Pure electricity is the number one commodity in the world for the first time ever. That happened. I want to say four years ago, I think, where pure energy surpassed petroleum as the number one used commodity. So, it only makes sense historically that the currency be a currency of energy. Bingo. Now, 
Okay, here we go. What Tom is talking about. It's a free energy. Right? You, you know the hack of the new system. See, nobody's figured this out yet, but I have. Sorry, guys, I'm usually about eight to 12 years ahead of humanity as a whole. Right? The free hack, or shall we say, the counterfeiting of the future will be free energy. Why do you think part of it is putting smart meters on your house? See, as we advance, one of the biggest hacks in the world is going to be printing or creating the Bitcoin out of free energy. Then you think I'm freaking joking, folks. Given about six years, and you'll start hearing um, a term. It's going to be something like um, a dark energy or um, um, something like that. Right? But it's going to be energy that has no cost to produce it. And when I say no cost, I don't mean volcanoes. I don't mean natural, um, physical, oil, gasoline, none of that. I mean, Tesla, free energy. The, the officials, the officials will be looking for everybody trying to track down that free energy. But they're not going to call it free energy. They're going to call it uh, something evil, like evil energy or uh, evil evil power or like dark power, some, some horse shit term that makes you think it's bad. Because, mark my words, folks, because they're going to say it's a threat to our global system. And that the people who are using this energy, they are terrorists against the global energy consortium. And please report your neighbor if you have suspicions that they have one of these evil energy generations. You'll get a reward. My friends, it's coming. Bingo. Yep. You can.
can't be producing electricity. You ain't got a license for that. My friends, the world we're moving into is absolutely better. Now, for those of you who want to know why my headline is Bitcoin going to $100,000 in the next nine months, Friends, I don't think you under. Let's think back. Let's go back. How far back? Way back to the last happening. 2018. Oh, yeah. Yep. No one at the corporate level was in the Bitcoin. None of the companies could hold it on their balance sheets. Think about, did you see the interview between Michael Saylor? I don't remember his name. Weird looking guy. Uh, look up the latest uh, Michael Saylor interview. It's like 45 minutes long, maybe an hour. He explains big a deal that this tax thing is, and how big a deal the EFT is. Michael Saylor's like, yeah, it's going to take him about nine months to a year. To get this all lined up. The happening is early, approximately early next April. We have September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Eight months, folks. Eight months. 226 approximate days. I'm telling you, folks. I'm telling you. We're about to get crazy, folks. Yep, that that was as Altcoin Daily, which I met the guys at Altcoin Daily at a event in LA it was it was me Kim Bozak um uh, oh, Omar friggin Bam do you guys remember Omar Bam I you may not Yes, I am stuck. My friends, this is, this is great, great folks. It's why the tax or how, uh, it's, it's, it's why the accounting shift was now they're timing it folks they're literally timing it at 
Mark my words. Mark my walking words. January 1st, you're going to start seeing Bitcoin go absolutely shit. You know why? New tax year. Oh, my friends, my friends. Shit's about to get crazy. That's why I tell you guys three things you need to do. Numero uno that you can do today. Word from the sponsor. Are you buying and selling cryptos on the same laptop that you're using to browse the internet, read your email, and visit social media sites? If so, you're exposing your cryptos to theft. Whenever you're online, you're at risk of getting hacked and having your identity stolen. How would you feel if someone stole all of your cryptos? What would that do to your finances? Guard your cryptos with a safe and secure laptop from Calix Solutions. Each laptop is set up just for you and your cryptos, and then we walk you through exactly how it works. Don't risk the security of your cryptos. Order a crypto laptop from Calix Solutions now to secure your crypto future. Learn more at calixsolutions.io. I'm back. So, number one, get a crypto-only laptop. If I hear what we had a lady calls at Calix. We had a lady call us at Calix. She got Oh, no, she didn't have one of our laptops. She had thought about getting one of our laptops. She had called us before, but never got one of our laptops. And they got her. Now she's thinking about getting one. Folks, number one, get a Calyx laptop. Number two, click the link under here and open an account at Caleb and Brown. You use my link and they and you save like 30% on their purchase charge or whatever the hell that is. But they're in Australia. That's the key, folks. Here in America, they are trying to limit how much you can get on the exchanges. They're trying to limit. Have you tried? Folks, I've had a Cash app account for years. My normal monthly limit for buying Bitcoin is about 25 grand. The last two months, the most I can buy at one time, 500 bucks. A week. That's odd. So, hence Caleb and Brown. Caleb and Brown will get you your Bitcoin. It's a white glove service. They just click the link. And you'll figure it out. Right. Uh, 
ever. And Edward, same thing happened to me at Coinbase. Yep. They limit the amount you can buy so they can't so you can't push the price up. This is all manipulated, folks. Who owns the majority of Coinbase now? One hint. It starts with black, ends with rock. Then number three, Matt. Everyone on YouTube, you're about to go bye bye. But like and subscribe before you go bye bye. Because the rest of the show will get a little woo woo. Because we have woo woo con next weekend here at the club. If you want woo woo con tickets, they're right under here. Come on down to Florida for a few days. Hang out with Bitcoin Ben at WooWooCon. Okay, now, everyone on YouTube, bye-bye. Everyone else, join us for the next hour or so. Maybe not that long. I got a ton to do. We have the Lynx event tonight here at the club. If you're on the private server, and if you saw the show yesterday, all right, I'm going to show you graphically what I was talking about, where the earth creates the oil inside the earth with the frequencies of the sun. I'm going to lay it out, folks. YouTube. Oh, wait. I, I, I almost forgot. They would kick my ass. Right. As you guys know, if you, per- if you purchase a Liberty laptop every month, we give away a free laptop. This month's winner of the free laptop is is Lance Volstree. Lance Volstree. Congratulations, brother. We will be reaching out to you and hooking you up with your free laptop. So, now, if you want to find out more information on how to get registered and enter into winning the free laptop, call 702-845-8276. Send a text or call. YouTube, you go bye-bye. You guys watching on YouTube, click the link, join the sub stack. There's a 20% off discount on sub stack through the private server. Click the link. See you guys on the private server right now. Actually, I lied. We're we're not on the private server yet. And I don't think we're actually going to get on the internet so much as we can do. But here we go. All right. Everyone else watching. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm all clogged up, folks. I'm telling you. 
this old age is just, man, it's kicking my ass. Oh, now, yesterday, I talked about how the sun's frequency, the radiation from the sun creates 